This morning, new developments in Albion where two people involved in an armed standoff are now dead. We have the details, including the disturbing criminal history of one of those people. Plus, incoming Madison School Superintendent Dr. Joe Gothard meets district staff and students. Hear his vision along with reaction. And already the winds starting to pick up out of the northwest at 10 to 20. We could see some gusts to 35 miles per hour later today. We'll have more coming up. Thanks for tuning in here, folks, on a Friday. I'm Chris Stanford. And I'm Shane Hogan. Thanks for waking up with us. We've made it to Friday. It's gonna have a, we're gonna have a great weekend with some great weather. <laughs> what? It's like the power of positivity. Yeah. I can sense it. I'm forcing it. I'm yeah. forcing it. You're like, we're gonna be great. Gosh darn it, I'm gonna have a good weekend. <laughs> It's going to happen, and so are all of you. And Kelly's going to tell us about that great weather Don't, that's you're coming. You're setting yourself for disappointment. No, here. no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, well, it's going to be a good weekend. Weather-wise, we can't complain. I don't think. I mean, I think most people are going to enjoy the uh, sunshine and mild temperatures. Uh, today, we do have a bit of a wind out of the northwest behind our system that did bring us some showers yesterday that are out of the northwest, about 10 to 20 miles per hour. Those will be picking up once that sun is up, especially as we get into late morning hours into the afternoon. Uh, weather track, just a few clouds here and there. The uh, showers that we had yesterday have dissipated. I wouldn't doubt if we don't see a few showers, maybe even to Dodge County, Jefferson County later today. But in general, I think most of us should stay dry. It will be windy and cooler today than what we've had the last couple of weekends. But it's setting up for a beautiful weekend, both Saturday and Sunday. Lots of sunshine. Well above average in the upper 60s and low 70s, but also we do have a storm system moving in Tuesday that could produce some severe weather. We'll have more on that coming up. Otherwise, temperatures in the 50s today should be in the upper 50s this afternoon. Still a couple degrees above average, but that northwest wind will make it feel a little bit cooler. As far as rain chances, not much through the weekend. It really won't be until Monday night, Tuesday, and we'll still have the stormy chances going into a Wednesday of next week. So after some quiet weather this weekend, Things will change next week. 46 right now at the airport. The uh, clouds have moved back in. The northwest wind at 13. We'll talk about partly sunny skies today. Also more on that weekend forecast and the uh, storm potential next week coming up. All right. Thank you, Kelly. We begin this half hour in Dane County, in southern Dane County, in the town of Albion, where we have new details about that pursuit and armed standoff. This all happened in the overnight hours leading into Thursday morning. The home where this standoff took place is on Ramsey Road, just east of Stoughton and northwest of the town of Albion. But the incident originated in Dubuque County, Iowa, where 38-year-old Alexander Grunke of Iowa was a person of interest in the murder of a 32-year-old woman in Iowa. That woman had a 13-year-old and a 5-month-old child staying with her, but they were not there when police found her body. Here's what we know so far. Wednesday night around 5.30, Grunke and the 13-year-old dropped a young child off at a residence in the town of Dunn, northwest of Stoughton. That child was not hurt and is now safe in custody. A pursuit began after the pair would not pull over for law enforcement officers. Both Grunky and the 13-year-old were armed and fired shots, but no one was struck. Deputies did not return gunfire. A tire deflation device was used in the town of Albion to stop their vehicle. They then got out and ran away. Grunky forced his way into an occupied home on Ramsey Road, barricading himself in the basement there. Deputies were able to get the family living there out safely. Deputies also tried to make contact with him, but found him dead from an apparent suicide. Authorities say the girl ran into a wooded area nearby and was found unresponsive and dead as well. Now, this isn't Grunky's first run-in with law enforcement. Online court records show in September of 2006, Grunky, along with his twin brother Nicholas Grunky and Dustin Radke, visited a cemetery in Cassville so that they could transfer a corpse to a different location so Nicholas could have sex with it. In 2010, Grunky was handed a two year prison sentence. We also know more details about that deadly shooting on Madison's north side that happened this week. It's the first homicide in Madison this year. It happened Wednesday night. Police say that a woman's been arrested now in connection with the incident. Police were called to the apartment complex uh, on the 1900 block of North Point Drive where a man had been shot. A 31-year-old had life-threatening injuries and later died at the hospital. Police confirmed that Tamar Brianna Beasley was booked into the Dane County Jail in connection with this shooting. We'll have more details on this case and a reaction from the Madison Police Chief in our next half hour. In Beloit, police officers have arrested a 16-year-old in connection to the murder of a 20-year-old man last Friday morning. It stems from a shooting early Friday on Nelson Avenue. Yesterday, police and Rock County deputies 
uh, served a search warrant on two different homes, one in Beloit, another in Janesville, leading to the teenager's arrest. The victim has not yet been identified. Slenderman stabber Morgan Geyser will remain in her current treatment facility. That is the ruling from a judge who denied her request for conditional release. It was nearly 10 years ago now that Geyser, now 22, and Anissa Wire stabbed their classmate, leaving her for dead in Waukesha. She also survived. The girls said that they believed it was the only way to protect their loved ones from a fictional character known as Slenderman. Wire was granted her release in 2021. The state said that although Geyser has shown improvements, she should not yet be released. Under state law, Geyser can make the release request again in as little as six months. At the same time, lawmakers are hearing testimony about progress happening at the state's youth prisons. Department of Corrections officials spoke about how they're limiting the use of pepper spray and constraints unless there's a serious risk to others. The DOC has been making changes to procedures at Lincoln Hills and Copper Lake, the state's two embattled youth prisons. It comes after years of lawsuits and abuse allegations. The next step is closing both youth, youth prisons in Irma, something that's taking years to open a new facility in Milwaukee. Our big first step is getting the Milwaukee facility open, getting it staffed and get it operational, and then you know, that is really our major goal right now. So administrative Court monitored reports show conditions at both youth prisons have been the best they've been since a monitor began reviewing them in 2018. Still, some Republicans on the committee fear the court order changes could make conditions less, less safe for workers there. MMSC staff and students have now met their next superintendent. At his introduction, Dr. Joe Gothard laid out his mission as he prepares to transition into the role beginning in May of uh, on May 20th. Gothard used to work as the superintendent uh, in St. Paul, Minnesota. He has a lot of experience, though, with MMSD, not only as a student, but as a teacher and principal. Currently, he is the superintendent at St. Paul Public Schools in Minnesota, where he was just named State Superintendent of the Year. He earned his bachelor's, master's, and Ph.D. at Edgewood College, where he sits on the Board of Trustees. Our Maddie Heimsch was on hand at the introduction. Born and raised in Madison, Gothard has already worked as a teacher, coach, principal, and administrator at MMSD. He says that knowledge of the community will assist him in serving the district. You will not address achievement gaps, opportunity gaps, unless you know your community and know what assets lie within your community. That's where it has to start. Gothard spoke of these gaps in relation to students of color, English language learners, students with disabilities, and students experiencing housing instability. It's a big commitment. Uh, on my part to truly be um, present in the community, but it's, I believe, how we're going to change some of the outcomes that have been historically here for too long, especially for our students of color. He said community partnership was a pillar when leading the 68 buildings at St. Paul Public Schools. He use, uses his experience in Minnesota and takes it to Madison Metropolitan School District, which I feel like he's going to be a great superintendent. And while rebuilding his connections with both the community and the students. It's just better when they know you and they understand and maybe if you have issues what you're going through. The new superintendent will quickly have to address budget deficits. It's clear today that public schools are not funded to adequately meet the needs of students. Members of the school board tell me it will be a challenge to preserve staffing and initiatives effectively while facing operational deficits. As Maddie Hives reporting, there's plenty of reaction to his introduction from other district officials. This includes from school board president Michelle Nichols. She spoke about what made Gothard stand out amongst the candidates. Being engaging, being present, and I think that came through time and time again in many of his responses about his approach and the way that he wants to engage as a superintendent. Dr. Gother was chosen ahead of two other candidates, Mohammed uh, Chowdhury and Dr. Yvonne Stokes. And some of the challenges Dr. Gothard will have to face are not new here in Wisconsin. A report released by the State Department of Public Instruction paints a bleak picture of the state's teacher workforce. The report calls teacher staffing a crisis, saying that teachers are leaving the state in an alarming rate. The report separates districts by locales, rural, suburb, town, and city. City districts had lower teacher retention rates than other locales. They also had the largest decrease in retention rate between 2020 and 2022. 
The data shows teacher pay has also dropped off by nearly 20% in the last 10 years. We are in a crisis, but it is not an unsolvable crisis that can't be resolved. Our state has the resources to do so. It's just that they have chosen not to. We must demand that our elected leaders make the necessary investments in our public schools, in our students, in our educators. It is our collective responsibility, and yet we've fallen short. Dr. Underly is pushing for using an unspent part of the state budget to help support teachers and schools. 610 new federal regulations regarding PFAS in drinking water are on the way. These forever chemicals have made headlines in Wisconsin, of course. Wisconsin has its own limit of 70 parts per trillion in drinking water. Those new federal maximums now for contaminant levels are four parts per trillion. Again, it's 70 trillion here in the state. According to Steve Almore, who directs the uh, DNR's drinking water groundwater program, 95% uh, of the state's public water systems are below that four parts per trillion mark. 5% or 89 systems are above. Every year we're finding new information that shows that they're, that they're more harmful. And so um, these levels keep going lower. They, they can cause cancer, um, thyroid impacts, and developmental delays um, for young children. One of those sites with PFAS higher than the new limit is Well 15 near the Dane County Regional Airport. That's turned off because of the firefighting foam used at Truex Field. Elmore says the DNR is taking some steps now to reduce contamination, uh, but they're just getting started, so it will take time. We, we now know more about that and um, the harms of that release to the environment. Um, but when it was used years ago, um, we didn't know that that was a problem and we were just, um, you know, it was a public safety action, right? Elmore says implementing the new EPA guidelines could take up to three years. That's because they need to change an administrative rule with public input and environmental impact studies. All right, we are waking up to some quiet weather, but already the winds are picking up this morning. It's going to be a windy day, but it's setting up to be a beautiful weekend. Well, the first morning forecast coming up. And ahead in your morning sports, a recap of the first round at the Masters. How did Tiger Woods do? We'll tell you coming up. You're watching News 3 Now This Morning, brought to you by Toyota. Dear Unbreakable Spirit, when the terrain is gnarly, you steady us. When obstacles are ahead, you lift us. When the turf is hostile, you inspire us. Own a legend. Toyota Trucks. Get a new 2024 Tundra Hybrid Capstone for 3.99% APR for 60 months, plus $2,500 cash back. Find yours at Toyota.com. Toyota. Let's go places. Get an 11% rebate on your next painting project now at Menards. Pittsburgh Ultra Interior Paint and Primer in One provides a durable, washable finish. Grab a gallon of Ultra Interior Flat Paint for just $16.88 after 11% rebate. Give your room a grand finish with Pittsburgh Grand Distinction Interior Paint. It's a premium paint and primer with excellent durability and comes in over 700 one coat colors. A gallon starts at $31.99 after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. Habitat homes are not free. They're built and bought by hardworking families just like yours. Families with jobs, dreams, and a strong determination to create a better future. With stable homes, they can invest more in their health, education, community, and beyond. After my son was born, I was having a hard time leaving him. Only being able to see him once before going to work and then once before bed, that's just not enough time. At my old job, my entire check went to daycare to pay to be away from my child. We bring our kids with us in the mornings and they ride with us on our routes and then they go to school. I'm on a route where I'm the one dropping my kids off at school. It's been phenomenal. Being able to bring them with me has been really great for our family. Why choose between that new deck you've been wanting and that vacation you've been dreaming about? Get both. A deck that outlasts wood three to one and up to a seven day vacation on one of the top cruise lines or at one of our hundreds of resorts with no blackout date restrictions. Call now or visit the website for your new deck today.
the friends of the Middleton Performing Arts Center present the Texas Tenors live in concert. Don't miss an exciting evening with the award-winning trio who are celebrating their 15th anniversary tour. One night only, Saturday, April 13th. Tickets on sale now at friendspac.org. Certain this is going to work? Nothing to it. For imprint certain? Certainty matters. For imprint is your home for promo gear to wow clients and inspire your team. Check out forimprint.com. For imprint for certain. Shop family owned Brothers Main for our large selection, low price deals, and free delivery on top brands like Cafe, Hot Point, and GE Appliances. From sales to install, we do it all. Feel great about your purchases. Feel like family at Brothers Main. You're watching News 3 Now this morning. Moving forward. Well, folks, we are excited this morning because the Dane County Farmers Market is back on the square this weekend. A real sign of the times, right? The weather's getting nice. Perfect time to get outside. Well, the city of Madison is reminding you that several street closures will be taking place. So just want to refamiliarize yourselves with some of these as the Saturday on the square is back this weekend. So those street closures, West Mifflin from Wisconsin Ave to State Street, State Street from West Dayton to West Mifflin, and North Carroll from State to West Wash. Those blocks will be closed from 8 a.m. to 2 in the afternoon until the market ends on Saturdays. Hoping to get out there on this Saturday. Should be beautiful. Yeah, it should be. The weather is shaping up nicely, Kelly Slifka. What you uh, plan on doing outdoors this weekend? Just uh, going to be perfect weather for this time of April. Looking really nice. I know we had some showers yesterday, at least for some. But now we've got quiet weather on the uh, patio. Uh, the patio is still a little bit damp here on the southwest side of Madison. We do have a wind, a northwest wind behind our system that is up there already at 10 to 20 miles per hour. So it is breezy this morning. It'll only get windier as the morning wears on going into the afternoon. Some of these gusts could be as high as 35 miles per hour. You still see some clouds here locally, kind of in and out of some clouds throughout the morning hours. Temperatures a little bit cooler than yesterday, but still running a couple degrees above average as we get up to a 57. A chilly night tonight, but once again, still above average. Sun uh, up at 619. All right, uh, we're looking at uh, some windy conditions today. Some of these gusts up to about 35 miles per hour. Nice weather this weekend. Low to mid 70s expected on Sunday. Just a beautiful end to our weekend. Unfortunately, though, we are looking at the potential of some severe weather that will be arriving Monday night into Tuesday. Could see several rounds of strong to severe storms. We're going to keep our eyes on that. Uh, beautiful photo from Paola. Thanks, uh, Cindy, for uh, showing us this photo with that deep red as that sun was setting. Otherwise, our future track looking at temperatures in the 40s this morning should be climbing into the mid 50s at the noon hour. So outdoors, just watch out for some of those winds. Uh, winds will be up there at 15 to 25. And we'll see uh, partly sunny skies. There might be a shower or two over there in Dodge and parts of Jefferson County, a little bit closer to some of that instability. Our winds will be a factor 10 to 20 miles per hour, but 15 to 25 mile per hour sustained winds later this morning. That will continue through the afternoon. As we get closer to sunset, those winds will come down. But if you are headed out after dark, it still will be breezy. Winds out of the northwest at about 10 to 15. All right, we're talking about that severe weather potential next week. This is the time of the year. All of southern Wisconsin does have the threat of seeing high winds, hail, and an isolated tornado. And right now, it's looking like we could see two rounds of severe weather. One in the morning, then again, possibly later in the afternoon and evening. We'll keep our eyes on that. So long ways off, but this is next Tuesday. Storm system coming in from the south, a lot of moisture with it. It may actually feel humid, a little bit humid on Tuesday as some of this uh, warmer air comes in from the south. Rounds of showers and storms. Still some showers left over on Wednesday, but I think the severe weather threat will be over with. 46 in Madison, 46 in Janesville, Watertown at 45 this morning. 57 today, beautiful weekend, 67 tomorrow, 72 on Sunday. Still in the low 70s early next week with that threat for severe weather, the alert day on Tuesday. And then we cool off a bit going into next week. It's been a long journey for Aaron Witt to get back on the field. The Badger outside linebacker was a fixture on Wisconsin's injury report in 2021, 2022, and 2023. During those three seasons, he had four different surgeries, two on his right foot and two on his right ankle. Last November at Minnesota, Witt got in and played just four snaps. It was his first game action in 1,060 days. And now at spring ball, he's finally a full go and fully healthy and he can't wait to show the world. Completely different player now than I was back then, just, um, and I think I'm a better player now. Uh, there's some things that, you know, I still gotta work through, 
and in the fall, I'll, I'll be able to show that. I'm excited to show that. So being able to be out there together is special. Knowing everything he's been through, the surgeries, the thinking he's about to be back, they're getting backtracked again. Just being able to see all that and see where he's at now and how still good he is, like it's, I, I, I'm so happy for him and I'm excited to be a part of his journey and be out there with him on Saturdays. To Augusta we go, first round of the Masters. Tiger Woods couldn't have asked for a better start. First hole of the day, and the five-time green jacket winner rolls in the birdie. He's one under through 13 and will finish his second round later this morning because play was suspended due to darkness. Bryson DeChambeau able to play all 18, and he finished with eight chirpers. DeChambeau is your leader at seven under. And that's it for morning sports. Have a great day. All right, Zach, thank you very much. Still ahead, it's time to start thinking about some grilled cheese sandwiches. Sounds good. And coming up in our next half hour, uh, wonderful Do Something Good. Charlotte Deleste introduces us to a man about to turn 100 and his advice for everyone out there this morning as he tries to a new take on a sort of bucket list. Yeah, you don't want to miss one. that story what he's there. Up to there. <laughs> as we had to break this morning. Also, we're taking a look at gas prices. We're back after this. Eric Franke, News 3 Now at 5, 6, and 10, moving forward. There's a reason big dental bills often come as a shock. Because sometimes you don't realize what's not covered until you get the bill. That's why affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual is important. It can give you benefits that go beyond what you get from more limited coverage plans. Because no one likes a big dental bill, especially if you're retired or on a fixed income. For a free information kit, call or go online now. This isn't some discount plan or prevented only coverage. This is real dental insurance that helps cover over 350 procedures like cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures at any dentist you want. Dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company helps cover preventive care, basic work, and major procedures with no deductibles and no annual maximum. For your free information kit with all the details, call now or visit sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. Dad, are you certain this is gonna work? Nothing to it. Are you for imprint certain? Certainty matters. Like the certainty of 4imprint, your home for high-quality promotional gear, including exclusive items and brands they love. Printed perfectly and guaranteed to arrive on time. To wow your clients, nail your next event, or inspire your team, check out 4imprint.com. 4imprint for certain. Who isn't ready for spring and up to 50% off list? It's the spring home sale and big deals are everywhere at Slumberland Furniture. Like this trending comfy sectional for just $15.95 or update your living room for just $4.75. Spring into a comfy Lazy Boy recliner for just $3.98. You'll find great deals in every department at up to 50% off list, including this cool to the touch mattress. Plus, pay no interest for three years at our big spring home sale now at Slumberland. We've all seen what's happening at our border. President Biden and Senator Baldwin's open border policy has brought more than 10 million illegal immigrants into our country. That's double the population of Wisconsin. Our country was already struggling to provide housing and health care to our citizens. And tragically, we're losing over 100,000 Americans a year to the drugs that pour over our open border. Their policy is wrong. I'm Eric Hovde. I approve this message, and I'll work to fix this problem. Goving Cars is having a huge spring sale with tons of vehicles under $14,995 or $255 per month. That's right, jump into spring savings with the best selection of cars and SUVs starting at $14,995 or $255 per month. Goving Cars has been family owned and operated for over 50 years. So just ask for me, Crystal the Pistol Govin. Go to Goving Cars East or West. You gotta go to Govin. GovinCars.com. We want to thank Linda for snapping this picture of some pelicans playing around in the water. Very cool. Love an action shot. Very nice. Linda, thanks. Shane, what's trending this morning? Okay, it's National Grilled Cheese Sandwich hey. Day. Something us folk up here know very well.
Oh, yeah. But it's time to talk about the Wisconsin Grilled Cheese Championships because that's coming up here. This is a, uh, with some video from previous years here. Oh, yeah. Josh is usually at the Grilled Cheese Championships. For sure. Uh, over there in uh, Dodgeville. Uh, he's on vacation, getting married. Tonight. Tonight. Uh, so he's not going to be with us next week. Uh, but they're coming to us. Okay, yeah, we're going to talk to them uh, in studio next week. Chris, uh, what can we expect there? All right, so uh, if you're not familiar with the Grilled Cheese Championship, it's a sandwich competition. Uh, you know, along with it, it's a, it's a big event, uh, something you can take the family to. There's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, it's in uh, Dodgeville. Uh, they've got Bloody Mary bars, All food trucks, vendors, the kids' area. April 20th, uh, which I believe is next Saturday, uh, they're going to be coming on the show next week. I love this one. Know this. What we can expect next year. Little bites sitting at a table. That's adorable. Yeah, yeah excited to talk to them, kind of see what's coming up, and hopefully taste some grilled cheeses in the process. Grilled cheese. Okay, here's my question to you. Oh, let's go. I know what you're going to say. Uh, what, do you, what do you think about dipping the grilled cheese oh. in the tomato soup? Oh, that's a, I mean, that's peanut butter jelly. That's. Yeah. Shane and Chris, <laughs> what kind of do better duos are out there, right? Uh, it's good delicious, to it myself. best cheese on a grilled cheese sandwich. That's oh, where I thought you yeah. were going with that. Yeah, sure. Um, uh, I, the fake stuff, American, good old like craft <laughs> singles. I mean, oh man, you know, I like a good, I like the bite of a good cheddar. Yes, uh, but a Wisconsin you know, aged cheddar. Yeah, oh, but I also like a good, a good stretch of the Monterey Jack. But uh, so yeah, I combine a few. Yeah. Uh, so good Delicious. stuff. All right, um, let's get to Kelly Slifka now and uh, the forecast to Kelly. Yeah, still uh, fairly breezy today. Temperatures in the upper 50s, but beautiful weather headed our way this weekend. Temperatures in the upper 60s to low 70s. We're back after this here on News 3 Now this morning. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Why won't you? I want fresh air. Uh, hun! You need the experts. The home renewal experts at Beltco will make your project a breeze with free installation on windows, siding, doors, and roofing. Plus, no interest for six years. Free installation won't last long. Hurry. Call now. Call 866 for Beltco. Looking for fitness that fits your budget? Join Planet Fitness. Now through April 12th, you can save big when you join for $1 down and just $10 a month. Cancel any time. That's almost 25% off your monthly membership. Get big fitness energy without the big investment. Never intimidating, always free fitness training. Equipment for every workout. Don't miss out. Join the judgment-free zone today and get energized for $1 down and $10 a month. Cancel any time. Deal ends Friday, April 12th. Pick and Save always gives you more ways to save on top of our lower than low prices. And when you download the Pick and Save app, you can enjoy over $500 in savings every week with digital coupons and earn fuel points to save up to a dollar per gallon at the pump. With a Boost membership, you'll save even more with double fuel points and free delivery. Discover more ways to save big every day. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. For generations, hardworking people have relied on Ford F-Series trucks, making them America's best-selling trucks 47 years straight. Introducing the new 2024 Ford F-150 and Ford Super Duty, the 2024 North American Truck of the Year. This is the next generation of built Ford Tough. See your Ford dealer today and celebrate leadership with special offers on Ford F-Series. Did you know there's a detergent that gets your dishes up to 100% clean, even in an older dishwasher? Switch to Cascade Platinum Plus. Designed with leading manufacturers, it delivers sparkling clean dishes in any machine. Just scrape, load, and you're done. Packed with Double the Dawn, Cascade Platinum Plus removes up to 100% of grease and food residue, delivering sparkling clean dishes on the toughest jobs. For the highest standard of clean, even in older dishwashers, switch to Cascade Platinum Plus. Sometimes it takes a different approach to see the possibilities all around you. Hey. Thanks. 
thank you for coming together. With Capella University's game-changing FlexPath format, take courses on your own terms and apply the skills you learn right away. Imagine your future differently with Capella University. Right now, updates on the breaking news we brought you yesterday in Albion, a breakdown of everything that happened. Plus, safety concerns after Wednesday's shooting in Madison, the first homicide in the city this year. The Madison Police Chief's message to the community on behalf of his department. And the winds are already picking up out of the northwest up there at 10 to 20 miles per hour. It's going to be a windy day, but we're also calling for some warmer weather into the weekend. We'll talk about it coming up. Good Friday morning, everyone. Thanks for waking up with us here on News 3 Now this morning. I'm Shane Hogan. I'm Chris Stanford. Thanks for tuning in. We have a lot to get to today. But the good news that I'm trying to soak in this morning is the nice weather that we have uh, setting us up for a beautiful spring weekend here. It's going to be awesome. I'm sure people will be flooding downtown around the square tomorrow for the farmers first market. farmer's yeah. market. Yeah, I can't wait. Kelly's here to tell us all about it, what we can expect. Hey, Kelly. Yeah, good morning, guys. It's uh, setting up to be a really nice weekend. Just kind of a transition day today from some of the showers we had yesterday. Today's going to be quiet, but also windy. It's already breezy this morning with the northwest wind up there at 10 to 20 miles per hour. That's uh, bringing us some slightly cooler temperatures for today, but it's going to be short-lived. We're going to really be warming up into the weekend. As I mentioned, we had some showers, but some areas uh, to the east of Madison didn't really see much at all. The heaviest rains fell out in parts of Richland County down into Iowa County where they really needed it. Uh, but right now it's fairly quiet. It's going to be windy today, cooler, a tad cooler than what we had yesterday. Beautiful weather setting up this weekend. And thankfully that's uh, coming during the weekend because by early next week we are talking about some storms. It's going to be kind of a stormy start to next week. All right, partly sunny skies today as we climb into the upper 50s. Might feel a little bit cooler because of that northwest wind, so you will need that jacket all day long. Can keep that umbrella at home for a while until Monday night into Tuesday. That looks like a best opportunity of seeing some rain and maybe some heavier downpours and also the potential of severe weather. We'll talk more about that coming up, but there could be a couple of rounds come Tuesday. Right now, 46 at the airport, northwest wind at 13. We'll see partly sunny skies, a few uh, cumulus clouds popping up with some cooler air aloft as temperatures climb in the upper 50s later today. More on the weekend forecast and next week's storm potential coming up. All right. Thank you, Kelly. Breaking news from the White House this morning. The Biden administration says it's forgiving $7.4 billion in student loan debt. That will impact some 277,000 borrowers. It's part of a program by the White House to make it easier for some people to qualify for loan forgiveness. In combination with other cancellations, the Biden administration has canceled loan debt now for 4.3 million Americans. 6.32 now to a major development this morning. Law enforcement officers here in Dane County are now working across state lines to learn more about a series of incidents that left three people dead. We broke this story yesterday morning and we now have more details on exactly what happened. A press release from the Dubuque County Sheriff's Office in Iowa says they found a woman dead as a result of foul play Wednesday night. A 13-year-old and a 5-month-old that were staying with the woman were missing from her home. Sheriff's officials later learned the person of interest in the woman's death ended up here in Dane County. That person of interest, 38-year-old Alexander Grunke. The Dane County Sheriff says Grunke and the missing teenage girl dropped that ba a baby off at a house at 5.30 Wednesday night. That child is unharmed and in custody of Dane County officials. Grunky and the girl took off in a car, leading them on a police pursuit, both of them firing shots at officers. The chase ended and the girl ran into the woods. The sheriff's office found her unresponsive where she later died. After the chase, Grunky fired several shots into a house on Ramsey Road. He then barricaded himself in its basement. Deputies ran into the home and got a family out safely. But by the time law enforcement had reached Grunky, he had died by suicide. During the standoff, Neighbors could see the commotion. Listen. You just knew it was bad because there were so many. I've never seen so many cop cars at a scene, and they all had their lights on, and they were lined up against or lined uh, down the road, and they were really focusing on the, the wooded section of that. So you just get this bad feeling like, oh gosh, you know. Yeah, I was, it was very, it was, it was, it was scary. The Dubuque County Sheriff's Office in Iowa says even though it appears the situation's over, the office will continue investigating to make sure there isn't someone else out there that needs to be held accountable. This story has a lot of details, all of which you can find at channel3000.com. While Wisconsin and Iowa officials continue investigating, 
We'll uh, provide updates through the Channel 3000 mobile app. Now to an update on Madison's first murder of the year. A woman is in the Dane County Jail this morning with a pending homicide charge. Police arrested 31-year-old Tamar Brianna Beasley after they say she shot a man on Wednesday. He later died from his injuries. MPD says the two were in a domestic relationship and had been involved in a previous incident in Chicago. MPD is currently working with Chicago police to find out more. We are naming the suspect in this case due to severity of the crime. The shooting happened on Northport Drive on the city's north side, not too far from a playground. It was 6.30 when the shooting happened, still light outside. Police say multiple other people were in that area when Beasley shot the victim. News 3 now spoke with Madison's police chief and got his response to safety concerns. I often find it, you know, disturbing when I see playgrounds uh, near the scene of, of any particular incident of violence. I think we all do, uh, which means that we have to do a better job. While the investigation continues, Madison police are asking anyone with information about the shooting to give them a call at 608-255-2345. As we cover the story, News 3 Now wants to remind anyone experiencing domestic violence that help is available. You can call Domestic Violence Intervention Services anytime. The 24-hour hotline number is up on your screen. There's also a national hotline. That number is 800-799-7233. Coming up after the break, a Madison man is preparing to turn 100. What his family has him doing before then in this special Do Something Good story. And it's a breezy start to the morning, and the winds will continue to pick up, but we're leading right into a beautiful weekend. We'll have the first morning forecast coming up. Save big at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Choose an Amish handcrafted sofa from our showroom or let our design experts customize a look for you during the Smith Brothers factory authorized sale. Save big on quality Smith Brothers furniture at Wanaki Furniture ETC. This day and age, we spend way too much time scrolling. Instead, join us for some horseplay at the Midwest Horse Fair. Check out insane tricks, hundreds of horses, clinicians, amazing eats, and spectacular shopping. And entertainment like you've never seen, IRL. Sorry, ask your kids what IRL is. It's the great Midwest Horse Fair. Join us at the Alliant Energy Center in Madison, April 19th through the 21st. Watch this. It's all 100% real. Witness what happens to this woman's bags under her eyes in an actual time lapse in just minutes. Nothing has been doctored or tampered with. The very real problem will disappear before your eyes and hers with a revolutionary topical formulation that works in just minutes. And the effects will last for hours and hours. Over 1 million people are using this topical technique to visually reduce puffiness and bags. It works on sagging jowls, even fine lines and wrinkles on the face and forehead. Introducing Plexiderm. In just minutes, you can restore and beautify your face, even look years younger. And the look will last all day or all evening. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. I'm just in love with the mirror right now. Jump on board and say yes to this amazing $14.95 Prove It Plexiderm trial. You'll see why our customers describe Plexiderm with three words. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Order right now. We'll pay your shipping. Operators are standing by. Hello, I'm Tommy Van Ness from the Tommy Van Ness Realty Group. For over a decade, thousands of people have turned to Tommy Van Ness Realty to buy or sell their home. Because we are more than your realtor, we're your partner. If you list with us and take advantage of our extensive marketing, everyone will know your home is for sale. The Tommy Van Ness Realty team is working hard for you. Call Tommy Van Ness today at 608-395-7375. Why settle for less? Call Tommy Van Ness. Save big at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Choose an Amish handcrafted sofa from our showroom or let our design experts customize a look for you during the Smith Brothers factory authorized sale. Save big on quality Smith Brothers furniture at Wanaki Furniture ETC. It's 6 p.m. in Wisconsin and you want to know what happened throughout the day. That's where News 3 Now at 6 comes in. Moving forward while you're navigating your day, we're out in the community uncovering the stories and finding the answers you're looking for. Local breaking news, in-depth reports, getting to the heart of events and issues that matter here. And when bad weather is on the way, we warn you first. Start your evening with News 3 Now at 6. Moving forward. Weeknights. 
watching News 3 Now This Morning, moving forward. Time is 639 at the state capitol. Today, voters will see a shakeup in the state's highest court. That's right. Liberal Justice Ann Walsh Bradley will not run for re-election next spring. That means no incumbent is running for next year's election. But we do already know one of the people running for her seat. In November, former Republican Attorney General Brad Schimmel announced he'll be running for the state's highest court. That election will decide the court's ideological balance. In a statement, the outgoing justice said, it has been an honor of a lifetime to serve the people of this state and to know that when I'm sitting down at that bench, I am standing up for them. Here's a reminder, a reminder that your uh, taxes are due on Monday. If you don't have time to file, you'll face a penalty of up to 25%. There are some exceptions to the deadline, including members of the armed forces, victims of certain disaster situations, and people working abroad. Certain people qualifying for free filing uh, can do that on the IRS's website. Now, with many signs pointing to a thriving U.S. economy, experts have been predicting interest rate cuts. But recent inflation numbers have been pushing back predictions of when that might happen. Now, a handful of prominent voices are saying rate hikes might be in the future. Amy Kiley looks at why and how this uncertainty could affect you. We ought to go all the way. A small but growing number of Fed officials and economists say it's possible interest rate hikes could be coming. Fed Governor Michelle Bowman says an increase could be necessary if inflation progress reverses. And the Minneapolis Fed president says a hike is not off the table. We stop short, then you all are going to say, well, maybe they're going to stop short next time. Those are minority Fed views. But the new Consumer Price Index report shows inflation accelerating. That has former Treasury Secretary Larry Summers floating the idea of a rate increase. A wholesale inflation gauge out yesterday is better than expected, but it shows the highest 12-month increase in almost a year. The, the one thorn in our side, obviously, is inflation, which has been very hard to vanquish. The uncertainty is affecting the stock market. There's so much dissent within the Federal Reserve and their governors coming out at different times. The fact that they don't speak in one voice, and I know they're not supposed to, but it can be so confusing to the marketplace. It's also creating doubt that loan rates will improve soon. Which many people were expecting, whether to buy a car or to purchase a home in the next few months. And stubborn inflation itself affects how Americans feel. Even though Americans' wages overall have lately been outpacing inflation, that still doesn't mean that Americans feel great about their finances. I'm Amy Kiley reporting. It's more local news now. Tomorrow's the first day of the farmer's market on the square of the city of Madison, reminding you that there are going to be some street closures. West Mifflin from Wisconsin Avenue to State Street, State Street from West Dayton Street to West Mifflin, and North Carroll from State to West Wash will be closed. Those blocks are closed from 8 in the morning till 2 in the afternoon. Well, the market's open. Well, it should be some beautiful weather for everyone who's heading out for the first farmer's market of the year. Kelly Slifka has been telling us all about it. Hey, Kelly. Yeah, it is looking uh, really nice uh, this uh, weekend if you are headed uh, out to the uh, farmer's market. Now, it's going to be a chilly start to tomorrow, but uh, we are calling for some sunshine and it's going to warm up nicely. Uh, take a look at the uh, farmer's market forecast. Uh, looking at uh, conditions to be clear throughout the day. Just uh, chilly, 38 at 7 o'clock. Should be in the upper 50s already at 10 o'clock, so it will be mild already by the late morning hours. Plenty of sunshine, temperatures in the mid to upper 60s tomorrow afternoon. We do have to deal with some winds this morning. They're coming in out of the northwest at about 10 to 20. They'll continue to pick up now that the uh, sun is coming up. That allows for some instability, some mixing, um, bring down some of that wind from aloft. But it will be a windy day today. Right now, we are looking at partly cloudy skies here in Madison, expecting that high of 57. A little bit cooler than it's been, but still a couple degrees above our average. Sun does not set until 737 now. All right, we are looking at partly cloudy, windy conditions today with some of these wind gusts out of the northwest as high as 35 miles per hour. Generally, the upper 60s on Saturday, low 70s on Sunday. So a beautiful weekend to get out and enjoy that. Uh, by uh, Monday night and Tuesday, we're watching a storm system that not only bringing in some general thunderstorms, but there is the potential. It's a long ways off yet. There is a potential, though, that we could see a couple of rounds of strong to severe storms. And again, uh, Monday night, early Tuesday morning, and then again later Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday evening. We'll keep our eyes on that. Future track looking at the uh, temperatures in the 40s with partly cloudy skies, mid-50s here at the noon hour. 
looking at upper 50s. Might be a shower or two areas to the east, a little bit more instability there toward Dodge and Jefferson County, more likely toward Waukesha and Milwaukee. All right, winds will be a factor today. They'll be out of the northwest at 15 to 25 and gusting as high as 35 miles per hour right through the evening hours, but they should come down as that sun goes down about 10 to 20 miles per hour, so still breezy. So we've got that cooler air mass coming in play uh, today. The mild weather will quickly move in for the weekend, but you see the storm in the uh, Pacific West Coast. That's the storm that's going to move inland, bring us higher humidity, and believe it or not, by Tuesday it may actually feel humid, but that could lead to some strong to severe storms. Once again, maybe a couple of rounds. That's why we have a first warm alert day. But out ahead of it, it's going to be mild, if not warm. Temperatures in the lower 70s to start next week. But no seeing that trend downward, actually below average by the end of next week. 46 right now in Madison. Also, Janesville 45 in Watertown, 48 in Lone Rock. So a little bit cooler this morning. 43 in Wanakee, Sun Prairie, and also Cottage Grove. And 45 in Stoughton. 57, a windy Friday for us and a chilly start to the morning tomorrow, but 67, beautiful afternoon, 72 on Sunday. Everything's working out perfectly to give us a really nice weekend. 72 on Monday, noticing the chance of storms ramps up Monday night and especially Tuesday morning and then again late Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday evening. Maybe a lingering storm Wednesday, but I think the severe weather threat would be over with. And then we'll see these temperatures drop from the 60s, even into the 50s below average by Friday and the following weekend. All right, Kelly, thank you. Now to a story only on News 3 Now. Dr. Lewis Boyer Harned of Madison will turn 100 this summer, but before he does, his family has arranged for him to do some things, 99 of them too. Yeah, our Charlotte Deleste tagged along for one of those tasks, joining Lou as he went back to his elementary school. It's this morning's Do Something Good. Everyone has a story. This should be fun. This is going to be a <laughs> blast. And if you have some time, Louis Boyer Harned has nearly a century worth of them. They called me by my middle name, which was Boyer. You've lived a life. Well, I have, yeah. Uh, and it's been exciting. Uh, if I had to do it, I'd do it all over again. And on this day, he's taking a look back on some of his very early memories. Here he is, so this is 1932, and he was uh, eight at the time. So this is probably second grade, I want to say maybe third grade. I took French. <coughs> I don't remember any French at all. <laughs> Welcome to our class. Well, wow. According to this grade book, Lou got A's and B's, but... In my poorest grade was spelling. <laughs> I got a C, and, and I can't spell today. <laughs> but he can sure tell stories. How's everybody today? Okay? Good. A little chilly? What would you like to know? We didn't have computers. We didn't have iPhones. And we didn't have the, the new watches. <laughs> and we had a clutch. You know, we, had, we didn't have automatic driving at, at that time or anything like that. I was an orthopedic surgeon. We call ourselves carpenters because we fix, we fix broken bones. Do you get hurt in any of the wars you served in? Fortunately, I was very lucky. No, I didn't. What was your job? I was an ambulance driver. Having served in World War II, Korea, and Desert Storm, Lou has experienced so much, which is why when he dispenses his pearls of wisdom, you listen. Look at people and try to understand his integrity. Can you talk about the importance of having integrity? Well, you can trust that person, and that to me means so much. What advice would you give to someone like me about living life? Enjoy every minute. I mean, do everything that you would like to do. Doing the things that I've done now probably would never ever have done them unless Linda had decided we're going to do this hundred business. You are having fun, aren't you? I am. I, I really am. That's life. Uh, can't go around with a long face. Oh you my don't. Gosh. How do you want to be remembered? About 131 of us are dying every day of World War II veterans. 2030, there'll be no World War II veterans. And I don't want them to forget us. Uh, that's my biggest uh, wish and, and hope. It was because of what we did that we have the life that we have now. And uh, I'm proud of that. I'm glad I was part of it. 
part of the greatest generation that is a shining example of what it means to do something good. So what's next for you? Oh, that's right. And how to make Bloody Marys and judging the best Bloody Marys. These are exciting things to do. <laughs> Charlotte Tulane State reporting. Hey, if you want to follow along on Lou's adventures to 100, find new, uh, excuse me, Lou 99 on Facebook. He's currently on Venture 74. Oh, man, what a great story. Great job by Charlotte telling it. And Lou's perspective, his attitude, so inspiring, beautiful, beautiful message. I love hearing from people like Lou because it does remind you of what's really important in life and to not take these days yeah. for granted. He's seen it all, right? All right, coming up in the morning sprint, we've got today's top headlines. Hey, we have some birthdays to celebrate today. Right. We want to wish a happy third birthday to Olivia and Everly. Look at these two. Happy birthday. We're back after this. Sponsored by Three Bears Resort, Indoor Water Park and Conference Center in Warrens, Wisconsin. Check this out. The newest fantasy game from DraftKings. Just pick between two and six players and choose if they're going to have more or less of a stat. They compete against others for cash prizes. It's that simple. Okay, let's try it. Do you want more Kevin Hart or less Kevin Hart now? No, nope. don't answer that. Download the Pick 6 app today and score up to $200 back in Pick 6 credits if you don't win your first pick set. The crown is yours. What? If you're 55 and up, T-Mobile has plans built just for you. It's like two lines of unlimited for just 30 bucks a line. That's a 45% savings versus Verizon and AT&T. Plus, get one of the latest 5G phones free when you add a line. Experience it all on America's largest and fastest 5G network. So switch to T-Mobile now and get two lines of unlimited for only 30 bucks a line. It's better over here. Shop from the largest selection of Chevy trucks and SUVs in Wisconsin at Bergstrom Chevrolet. All with Bergstrom's negotiation-free upfront pricing, including our exclusive seven-day price protection and money-back guarantees. Stop in or shop and purchase at bergstromchevrolet.com. To everyone who enjoys a feel-good meal, we're crafting one for you, Wisconsin style. We're talking handcrafted, cooked to order, scooped to perfection goodness. More like greatness. <laughs> a snuggle up in the booth, share a bite kind of meal. A fill you up, heart and soul kind of meal. Come treat someone you love to a meal they're sure to love. One always served with a smile. That comes from the heart. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome to the You made a cow. Actually, it's a piggy bank. My inspiration to start saving. How about a more solid way to save? I'm listening. Well, BMO helps get your savings habit into shape with a cash reward every month you save. Cash, cash reward? And there's a cash bonus when you open a new checking account to get you started. Wow. Anything you can't do? Mugs. With Reynolds Wrap, cooking becomes so easy, you can feel like the chef of your kitchen. Easy prep, easy cook, easy clean. Reynolds Wrap. Ordinary is the opposite of beautiful. Beauty drops our jaws, dilates our eyes, and beauty is something we can create right now at Floor & Decor. Bucks Thunder, tonight at 7. 6.53, time for the morning sprint. The Biden administration says it's forgiving $7.4 billion in student loan debt. That will impact some 277,000 borrowers. It's part of a program by the White House to make it easier for some people to qualify for loan forgiveness. In combination with the other cancellations, the Biden administration has canceled loan debt now for 4.3 million Americans. 
Three people are dead after a series of incidents across state lines. One died in Iowa, two here in Dane County. 38-year-old Alexander Grunke died by suicide after he barricaded himself in a home in Albion. Before that, police chased him and a 13-year-old in his car. That 13-year-old also has died. The two had crossed state lines after the death of a woman in Iowa. Officials identified Grunke as a person of interest in her death. The suspect in Madison's first homicide of the year is in custody. Tamar Beasley turned herself in for shooting and killing her partner. Police say surveillance video shows Beasley shot him while they were at a social gathering at an apartment complex on the north side when an argument broke out. Officers say Beasley and the victim had a previous incident in Chicago and MPD is working with Chicago police now to get some more information. A kid's toy speaker is being voluntarily recalled. Yodo Mini Speaker's lithium-ion battery can overheat, causing a fire risk. There have already been several reports of the speaker overheating and melting. No injuries have been reported, but owners should go to the Yodo Mini website for information on how to get a new charging cable. A new report raising some serious concerns about Lunchables. Consumer Reports says the store-bought prepackaged lunches contain high levels of lead and other heavy metals. That's in addition to their high levels of sodium. Lunchables manufacturer Kraft Heinz says lead can occur naturally in the environment and calls the study misleading. A new report from the State Department of Public Instruction says Wisconsin is experiencing a teacher staffing crisis. DPI finds teachers are leaving Wisconsin at an alarming rate. This as teacher pay has dropped off in the last few years. State Superintendent Jill Underly says the state has the resources to get out of the crisis, but is choosing not to do so. The CDC says there have been more than 100 measles cases in the U.S. this year. None of those are in Wisconsin. Dozens, though, are in Illinois. The number of cases in the first three months of 2024 is 17 times higher than the average number in the first three months of the three years before. This could threaten the U.S. status as a country that has eliminated the virus. All right, good morning. Coming up on 7 o'clock, it is a bit breezy this morning with a northwest wind at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Those winds will continue to pick up now that the sun is coming up. We do have some sunshine. We'll look at sunny skies this morning. During the afternoon, some clouds will start to build up. Can't even rule out a shower over there toward Juneau and Watertown this afternoon. Otherwise, it's going to be a windy day. Temperatures in the upper 50s, pretty close to our average, but beautiful weather headed our way this weekend. Temperatures today in the upper 50s, but we'll be in the 60s and 70s by Sunday. All right, hope you can get outside and enjoy. We'll see you back here in 30 minutes for another news and weather.